Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started with our <clears throat> holiday outlook. I'm Sean Dubervac, CTA's chief economist. And I'm Steve Koenig, CTA's Senior Director of Market Research. This year, you get the real Sean and Steve, no suits, no silly hats. It's just us. So. It's, scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty scary. So for those of you who have, have followed this in the past, this is our 23rd year of uh, doing our annual holiday outlook. This is the first exclusive look at our holiday results. So. For those of you who are, uh, who are tuning in, this will be the first time that we have uh, shown these results and these forecasts for this <clears throat> holiday season. So let's do, uh, to start, we'll go back and we'll just score our holiday forecast from last year, something that we have done in the past, looked, looked past, looked in the past to see where we are before we look forward. Uh, and you can see that we did pretty good. Overall retail sales we had predicted would be right around 3.4%. They came in a little bit higher than that at 3.9%. Uh, GAFA retail sales, which tends to be department stores, kind of general merchandising, uh, we had anticipated to fall <coughs> around 1.7. It was actually a little bit weaker than that. You can see uh, electronics retailers we had anticipated would grow close to 2% and it was actually down. 5.5%, uh, so I can talk a little bit about that. Uh, and the big story, and what really defines some of those earlier numbers, is what happened online, and specifically what happened in mobile. So uh, online was up almost 15% last year, slightly ahead of our forecast. Uh, mobile was well above our forecast, growing almost 50% on a year-over-year -year basis. And then <coughs> spending on consumer tech grew about 1.3% during the holiday season. So we're looking at November and December compared to the prior year. One of the reasons why I think growth was slower last year than we had anticipated was because it was coming off a pretty strong year-over-year -year comparison. So holiday of 2014 was a very good, strong growth rate for, uh, for the holiday season for tech. Uh, it was a pretty good holiday season last year, and, and I think the growth rate masks some of that simply because of the, the year over year comparison. Uh, but that's a look back. Now let's switch forward and, and look at our forecast as we move forward. We see comparable growth to last year. Uh, we expect the overall retail to be up 3.8%. We expect GAFO retail to be up about a half a percentage point uh, compared to last year. Uh, we see electronics retailers declining, and again, this is the story, and it's something that will permeate our entire presentation, uh, the role that online is playing versus brick and mortar. So I would expect that when everything is said and done with this holiday season, that brick and mortar will be negative on a year-over-year -year <coughs> basis, and all of the growth will come from uh, what's happening online, and especially what happens in the mobile space. You can see, looking at the